Part one continued because the storage went out in the other phone. Okay, now the down block, we're up to the down block. Yeah, I might leave it in a minute, we'll see how we go. Okay, so the down block with the movement. One, two, three, four. Good. The other way. One, two, three, and then four. And as you get in the rhythm of the actual movement, it comes and plans in the subconscious, which is what it's all about. Um, so it's all about, you can't be thinking, do I set that one? <laughs> Can you attack me in about five minutes? I'm going to ring John Gill and ask you which way I should have gone. <laughs> all right, so that's the way you go. So you've got to, that's why you practice. It's like anything in sport, you know, like pickleball and tennis, you know, you know you've got to just get in the subconscious. So it's an automatic reaction. When players hit tennis balls, they're not thinking. Players hitting pickleballs, they're not or something, but <laughs> that's when they stuff up. Not thinking, it's just automatic. Time shoe like you don't think about it, do you? You don't go. When you first did it, you did, right? Cleaning your teeth, right? Uh, everything's automatic right now, right? Cleaning it's all automatic. Because done it so many times. So that's the same thing in this. You're getting played the movements. Okay, so there's your down block. We'll do the we'll do the inner palm block. Okay? So one. Okay, so okay, so left, it's left foot back. It's left foot back and right hand across. That, uh, good, good, that's it. It's just palm like that. Two. Come back to normal position like you're standing there. I mean, this could happen at a bus stop or a train station when you're standing around and something, something comes up, you know what I mean? But it's other times you might be obviously walking on the street. So it's gotta be, it's all about street scenario. Three. Four. Okay, now the other way. One, left hand, yeah, left hand across towards the mirror. Two, three, four. Good, okay, so this is the palm across, okay. So that's it. For the basic blocks, you know, there's other ones, X blocks, and there's a million other blocks, but this is just the basics to start with from the first lesson or second lesson, etc. Okay, so now we're gonna learn to Strike only when necessary. Just because someone calls your name, you don't hit it. <laughs> What'd you call me? Whack. <laughs> um, I said you're a nice person. <laughs> okay, so you've got it. Um, I was talking from CVS one day. I had one back in my hand. I put it in the wheel from June 56. And this guy walked by me with a big, big bag, right bag, kind of close to me. And he had to do it on purpose. I was just standing on the outside. He bumped it with it. I turned around just a little bit. Was he drunk or he's not aware of what he's doing? Uh, he attacked me after that when I looked at him. I didn't say nothing to him. He just started attacking some punches on me. Is this the one you're saying for? No, it's a different one. This one, oh my goodness. Yeah. So I'm, I'm blocking his punch. Next time I'm not aware of the punch on his traffic. I mean, he said, You want to call the police? I said, Do it. <laughs> you wow. Know? You know, so I'm blocking his punches. I was getting ready to sh 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 just tackle the guy, you know, because. I was uh, I wasn't sure. Yeah. You know, I was sure how he was my thoughts at half my age at the time different. You know, so it's endurance. How old you Alex? How old you? Seventy three. So that's amazing. It's just, yeah. yeah, so you see at any age to learn this and it is important to yeah. I have a senior system anyway, but this is basically with a yeah. you know, very simple techniques. Um so look, so yeah, at least you, you you're here to tell the story, so it's good, it's important. So that's the key to get away and not and try and get unscathed. You know, what a cue class I went to. Yeah. They stressed the importance of utilizing the other person's energy against himself. He's that, that's Don't right. resist, welcome him. That's what that's what how keto does as well. Right. Energy and let them read for that's why it's good just trying to flow in the system and using your energy. Well, I'm telling you, but yes. it's all about practice, like you say. Yes. You practice over and over, so it's not because it's automatic. Your movement is so quick, you know, you pull him and he's down. Exactly, it's good for you. Much like it's good for you, all about the sports. Helps your coordination, your balance, your reflexes, your confidence. And so many other benefits, it's amazing. There's a whole list of website, you know, like benefits of martial arts. Traditional martial arts, not jumping in the ring on your first lesson. You know what I mean? yeah. You're fighting somebody, it's a big difference. Okay, so. We would go, it should be based on self protection and self defense, that's the key. And using this and this first, and then this is, has to be a last resort. Now, talk about last resorts. This is where, if you have to hit somebody, this is when you're pretty much your life's in danger, okay? So, not for the school bully or anything like that. It's this very serious situation. You can push somebody, you know, 
within the sternum, you can push them out of the way. If it's, you think it's not so threatening, that it could come up. But if it's quite serious, you've got to hit the eyes, the nose, the throat, the groin, the knees. Secondary areas, a temple, ear, back of the neck, kidney, rib, down the shin, on the foot. There's quite a few areas, and there's some really impressive points as well, that Hapkido to employ as well, for non, more non, you know, violent situations, or just to subdue somebody, where police and security could use for Hapkido. You know, it's important. So, palm strikes. Okay, so let's have the hands up. Like imagine we're talking to somebody. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry, I bumped in. You keep your hands up. They come. They now they come at me. It's on. Bam! Straight in the nose. I haven't got time to run. I haven't got time to move. I just stick my hand in their nose or fingers in the eyes. Or if the fingers in the eyes are more in close, actually, because the problem is with distance, you'll miss. Could miss. Whereas a palm into the nose or under the chin is quite effective, or into the jaw. So let's just practice that, okay? It's like boxing style with punches, but just palm, 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 palm. And see how I use my hip? See how I get my hip and my back foot is off the ground. That's the same pickleball and tennis, for example. You use hips and things like that to get more power. So that's how you get power. So keep doing that in the air. Good. Okay, okay so now we'll line up again. Line, you could go first because there's a previous experience. We'll do this way, go, come this way actually. From here. Good. If we do four actually, do four. four. Yeah. Four. Two. That's it. That's two plus two is four. You're good at that. <laughs> Being a phone man. <laughs> and where is your shop again, Ignacio? I'll give you a plug, mate. As we do with all our students, we give them a plug to their businesses. Yes. What's the address? Same yeah. address as this. 709 Lincoln Boulevard. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, what's your website? It's uh, Metro by T-Mobile. Tell, tell, tell the audience. Metro by T-Mobile.com. Metro by T-Mobile.com. And SuperstarCenter.com. And which one? SuperstarCenter.com. Superstore Center. SuperstarCenter.com. How'd you say that in an Australian? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Superstar, was it? Superstar Center. That's it. There you go. Superstarcenter.com. That's your phone shops, right? Yep. There are a few of them around the place. There you go. Keep going, pump. Here we go. So now he knows what to do. He gets a bad customer who complains about their line. <laughs> <laughs> the customer going. Right. Here we go. Palm, palm. Okay, so we're just palm. Just time we're doing palm. Yep, that's open palm. That's great, Alex. Great. Excellent. Okay, here we go. Good. Here we go. Good. Excellent. That's it, palms. Good. Next. Good. Right, now we'll do punching. Palms are better because you're less likely to break knuckles and get a sore hand. However, having said that, I'd rather break my knuckle and get a sore hand than get killed. <laughs> right, right? Okay, so it's kind of pretty good trade off to me. But if you really want to protect your hands, palms are quite effective as well because they're not, they don't see the coming. There's a few more options for the jaw, under, under the jaw, into the uh, jaw here, in the nose, even into the ears, like some pop, uh, like a palm pop, they call it, when someone's grabbing you from the waist and you pop their eardrums. It's all on my videos. World's best self defense techniques on YouTube. I'll put it for free on YouTube. There you go. What's one? John Gill self defense. That's it. Now you've got a plug. I'll, I'll get one. <laughs> Probably even watching it. <laughs> I know the world's best self-defense techniques. Check that out. I did that many years ago back in Australia on the beach. It was very effective. So now punches. Right now, this is different from a fight, a boxing fight. We just kind of laying punches and you score points, right? There's no points in street self-defense, unfortunately. There's only like I survive or I don't. All right. So if you get a punch, it's more likely they're coming in with the throat kind of. If they come in pretty tight, it's pretty hard to get to the throat. Um, so you're better off hitting a nose. So they present the nose, I hit it. If they present the throat, they come down, and particularly for a woman, where they come down and you're like this, and their throat's open, you punch the throat, that's when you hit. Even punching here's not gonna really, it can, it's better than nothing, or here's okay, and here's knockout point, which is good, you have to have a heady, pretty hard punch to knock someone out. Throat will incapacitate them for a little bit of time. And we're talking about it in a serious situation. They're trying to kill you or rape you. I'm not saying punch anyone in the throat. You know what I mean? We're not ones being violent. We, were a right, we have a law and a right to protect ourselves. Okay? I know you Americans love your guns, but that's not going to work on the street because you can't carry it around with you all the time. A gun only works if you're doing this. And you're watching everything. You've got to learn to unarmed self-defense. By all means, carry a mace spray, though. I think they're good. 
and a whistle is all this kind of stuff, as well as letting unarmed self-defense, you should be pretty right. Okay, two, four punches, here we go. One, two, three, four, good. So straight in the knuckles. Now there's a straight punch, like boxing, a normal punch in martial art is like that. Then we, there's a style called Wing Chun, invented by a woman, which is awesome, because I've been big on women's self-defense since 1985, back in Australia, teaching at schools. 1987, when the first women's only had pedo class in Australia. So Wing Chun punch like this. I'll teach you both forms, but at the moment we'll do a straight punch, all right? And that was Bruce Lee's original system, Wing Chun. Here we go. Don't watch Bruce Lee movies, you need to watch them. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Enter the Dragons, awesome. They're all good, they're all good. Enter the Dragons, American one film, it's really good. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So let's just walk around the, let's just walk around this way, two, three, four. Alex, I'll just go that way, that's all right. We'll go round the, round there. And you practice a little run if you want to. You girls should be running, okay? Practice your run, practice your run. No one ever practices runs in martial arts, but you should practice your running. Three, four, good. That's awesome. Here we go. Three, four. Four, good. That's it, one more, Pick two more up. I'm going to overdo it without gloves on because you could get the sore knuckle. But you know, this is fine. But sometimes if you get a lot of punching on, like a punching bag at home, get some gloves. And they'll protect your knuckles and tough them up gradually as well. Right, so that's good, guys. That's good. We've done our basic punch and palm. And you're going really well. It's really good. You, you definitely, even after, what, 45 minutes or whatever it is, You've got a better idea now than 25 minutes ago. <laughs> you can come and attack them now. <laughs> come on, guys, I've got it ready for you. <laughs> Try to test out the students. Okay, here we go. No, I'm just kidding. All right, here we go, a bit of fun. All right, now, what else can we use for self defense? On our bike. Now, let's leave three beginners, leave what they can come up with. What else can, could I possibly use? A punch, a palm. What else is, is a good area to use? Legs are good kicking, right? What else? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Elbow. Oh. Elbow. Elbow. So this time they're really close to me. I can't swing to me. They're really up close and personal, and it's bad straight in the jaw. It's straight in the throat. It's behind straight in the throat. It's to the side of the eardrum. It's into the groin. Elbows are really effective, and you know why? Because that, that, that doesn't move very much, whereas a wrist can move. If you punch someone incorrectly, you can break your wrist. That's why you're firm, you know what I mean? So elbows are really good. But they're only used for being close, right? Because it's the hard point. So let's practice that. So we practice in the air first. Now, stylistic purposes, it doesn't matter. You can do it with a fist or an open hand, it's, well, to be exact. I teach both Hapkido and Taekwondo. And Taekwondo for the grading, positive and sort of syllabus, it's with a fist. Hapkido with an open hand. So they're not doing great in the moment, they're doing basic self-defense. So whatever you feel comfortable, either this way or with a fist. Or a bit of both. <laughs> we'll do both, there you go. Here we go. I'll do one open, one fist. Because we use pressure points for this, that's another story, but you're coming in at the top, things like that. Okay, so practice forward elbow. And the mistake people make is they kind of do it like a Working like a duck, you know, like this. So <laughs> you've got to come in firm. It's got to be parallel. So this fist or open hand is parallel to my shoulder. As you do that to yourself, do that to yourself, so you get not got the idea of impact. Don't hurt yourself though. <laughs> now I'll get the pad out, and we'll see how we go with that. I'm gonna use the softer one. Just a couple of different ones I can use. Same thing. Okay, so coming in, give me that shirt first. Give me four elbows. One, two, three. See he's doing it? Four. Six, two, three, one, two, three, four. Good. One, <laughs> two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, Good. Now we have a quick drink break and rest and come back out for part three.